what are the six big losses in the lean manufacturing or the OEE and why you should be interested in knowing what those six big losses are which prevent your company to become a world class company if you don't know what these losses are then it is almost difficult to improve so let's understand this in a little bit more detail so please watch this video till the end six big losses in the lean manufacturing these losses can impact small and large scale business and can usually arise during routine manufacturing process so if these losses occur in the lean manufacturing it simply means in the time effort and the cost that are involved by the company is waste extra effort is required in processing or production of those goods then we have this profit which is decline in this case employee morale decline because of these losses that is why we need to first identify these losses on a regular basis and then only we can take some corrective actions to minimize it or eliminate it if possible from the system one such method is six big losses in the lean manufacturing so let us understand more ab about what is this six big losses so this concept of six big losses was given by saichi nakajima six big losses evolve from tpm or the total productive maintenance there is a detailed video on this topic on my channel you can check out this video in the i button above first of all all the oe factors like availability performance and quality should be broken down further so that all the losses must be analyzed prioritized and minimized that is the main purpose of calculating these oee values so when we talk about six big losses in the lean manufacturing they either impact your availability performance or quality this approach is known as six big losses in the lean manufacturing so when we start with availability so losses under availability are bifurcated into planned stops which are something like planned maintenance a proactive approach to maintenance wherein there is a fixed number of hours dedicated for it operators training where we need to train and build operator skills to bring them to the current standards meal breaks including lunch break meal break or a coffee break change over of the tools any project related or team meetings and inspection whether it is in process inspection raw material inspection or final inspection the other loss under availability is the unplanned stops so these unplanned stops are those which are not scheduled but happened all of a sudden during a running operation it can be due to equipment breakdown or a technical fault inconsistent supply of material machine wear and tear electricity failure or a shortage of material and shortage of operators these are are my unplanned stops now under performance we have speed this happens when machine is not running at 100% capacity or running at reduced speed and it can be due to the lack of lubrication poor quality of material lack of experience of the operators and the poor environmental factors like the temperature humidity and the light other factors under performance could be the small stops or frequent stops this happens when machine will stop working for small period of time and these small stops are frequently resolved by the operators within a minute or two it can be due to when a machine is jammed operators runs the machine with wrong settings quick cleaning of machines and reset input parameters the third category of loss is quality 
where we capture the scrap and the rework. So scraps are those defective parts which cannot be reworked and are discarded by the company. And rework are those defective parts which can be reworked and then put it back into as good parts. So with quality, we measure the percentage of good part produced versus the total part produced. Rest are either scrap or rework. So what is the world-class OEE score? Can we say that we can achieve a OE score of 100%? Theoretically, yes. Only thing we need is the availability, performance and quality to be at 100%. But in practicality, this is almost impossible to achieve. Normally, we have availability around 85 to 90, performance around 90 to 95 and quality maybe 80 to 85. And if we combine this factor to get the OE score of world-class companies around 85. Let's understand this concept of six big losses with the help of some example. So we have this data as shift length of eight hours, which is equivalent to 480 minutes. And we have a two short break of 15 minutes, one meal break of 50 minutes, downtime as 60 minutes, idle runtime as 60 pieces per minute, total pieces produced around 18,000 and rejected pieces would be 420. Now we will use this data to calculate losses in terms of availability, performance and quality. So first loss that we calculate in terms of availability is operating time by planned production time. So planned production time is nothing but the total shift length minus your breaks, either short break or meal break. So we get planned production time as 400 minutes. Now we will calculate the operating time. So operating time is planned production time minus downtime. So we have a downtime of 60 minutes. That means your machine was not available for work for 60 minutes or one hour. So we'll put all this uh, in the formula. We get availability as 340. That is operating time divided by planned production time of 400. So that means your machine was available 85% of the time and rest 15% is your loss, which is maybe because of your downtime. Next loss we will calculate in terms of performance. So performance wise, it is like idle cycle time into total count divided by operating time. So idle cycle time is nothing but 60 pieces per minute. That means one piece per second. Our total count is 18,000 and operating time we have calculated above as 340 minutes. So we put, we get performance around 88.23. That is approximately 12% is your performance loss. That means there is some loss because of the performance. Either it is running slow or you are not producing sufficient number of parts. Next loss we will calculate in terms of quality. So quality is given by good pieces divided by total pieces. And good pieces we calculate through total pieces minus reject. So we put the formula numbers in the formula, we get quality as 97.6%. That is approximately 2.5% is your loss of quality, either maybe because of scrap or reject. We can also calculate the overall loss in terms of OE factor. So we get OE score of around 73.19. That means approximately 27% is your overall loss. So that is all I have on this video. If you like it, click here to subscribe. Do hit the like button as well. Share this video with all your friends on different social media platforms. And if you have any specific sessions or topic for my next video, you can let me know in that comment section below. And please let me know your thoughts as well on this particular video.